Greetings, everybody, and warm and well wishes to you on this Ash Wednesday, 2022. I'm thinking of you all today, and I'm thinking about the lessons that we can learn and let sink into our hearts on this day in the Christian liturgical calendar, Ash Wednesday. It is the beginning of the season of Lent, the 40 days between Ash Wednesday and Easter. And at this time in our knowledge, from what we understand and know about the Bible, Jesus was in the wilderness. And so we take this 40 day period in the liturgical calendar to renew our faith in God, to renew our faith in love, to recommit to the work of love and justice, and to really take a look inward at ourselves and reflect on how we are living our faith and values in the world, how we're engaging in our spiritual practices or not. It's a really, really special time in the calendar. And I invite you to engage this year in whatever way would be nourishing to you. And if you'd like ideas, please feel free to reach out to me or to Adam. So this Ash Wednesday today, we are reminded of the power of how very small we are. From dust, we have come. From ash, we have come. From dirt, we have come. And to ash, we shall return. To dirt, we shall return. To the earth, we shall return, right? It's a powerful message of the smallness of a human life and also the value of a human life. And this year, I'm thinking a lot about the kinds of losses of lives that we have seen and experienced, maybe even in our families or our communities this year that didn't need to happen the kind of loss of life that comes from systemic injustice, the kinds of lives that have been lost to people not following COVID protocols, the unvaccinated. Um, and so this year I hold in my heart those people who have returned to the dust too early. And so may we hold them in and on our hearts this year as well. I wanna share with you um, a poem, a blessing by Jan Richardson from her book, Circle of Grace. And this is a poem, a blessing for Ash Wednesday called Blessing the Dust. So here these words of Jan Richardson. All those days you felt like dust, like dirt, as if all you had to do was turn your face toward the wind and be scattered to the four corners or swept away by the smallest breath as insubstantial. Did you not know what the Holy One can do with dust? This is the day we freely say we are scorched. This is the hour we are marked by what has made it through the burning. This is the moment we ask for the blessing that lives within the ancient ashes, that makes its home inside the soil of this sacred earth. So let us be marked not for sorrow, and let us be marked not for shame. Let us be marked not for false humility or for thinking we are less than we are, but for claiming what God can do within the dust, within the dirt, within the stuff of which the world is made and the stars that blaze in our bones and the galaxies that spiral inside 
the smudge we bear. Amen. So my friends, I wish you so well and um, bless you and I'm holding you close today as we begin this season of journeying in the direction of Easter. May it be fruitful, may it be spirit nourishing. Uh, and I look forward to hearing from you all. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need ideas for spiritual practices or want someone to listen as you reflect on some of what you are learning in this season. Take care, all of you, and I look forward to hearing from you.